it's Emily from The Pinning Mama. If you're joining me on YouTube, hop on over to the blog for the full post. It is www.thepinningmama.com. We only have a few short lessons left on our Silhouette Bootcamp journey. Last week we learned all about the print and cut feature and this week we are going to learn all about the stipple feature. The stipple feature is a design made with a series of dots. The stipple feature, if you can see right here, this is a series of dots. The stipple feature is only available in the Cameo 3 and the Curio, in the Curio machines. So let's get started. I made a design. First I bought the design Mr. and Mrs. off of the Silhouette store. And then I wanted to write uh, my middle name in the middle. I'm going to make a little fun print for our gallery wall. Um, my last name, this font, is a, it's called Noteworthy. Um, and now I want to use the stipple feature to make dots all around the exterior of my design. The stipple feature is located, or the stipple panel is located over here on the right, and it's this star with dots around it. You can also reach the stipple panel by going to panels and to stipple and that will bring up this panel right here. Um, I just wanted the outline of mine done. And so what you go to is you go to stipple the edge and click that. And then you'll see that um, right here you could change the size of how wide or how small the edge is done. Um, you can fill your design with different with different areas. I'll just, let me go over to this design right here. So right here I filled in each piece of the design with a different stipple design filler. One was a dot, some are the little waves. Um, every piece you can fill differently in how you want your design filled. Um, the few things I'm going to tell you is grid spacing zooms large to small. So you can have them very close together or far apart. The stipple spacing changes the size of the dots inside. Angle control makes it turn sideways or just changes the angle of which your design inside the dots, the chevron, whatever it is that you're doing in there. And offset controls how far apart away from the outer edge your dots are or your design. I simply just wanted to use the stipple feature to go on the outside of my design so that when this is printed on my silhouette I'll have this really fun dotted design that is printed with a pen or a marker. If I were to send, if I'm going to send this to I'm all ready, I'm going to send this to my silhouette. You want to make sure that up here you have the action as simple. And you want to choose a pen, what kind of paper. All of that needs to be chosen before you send it to be printed. You can choose if you have different lines, if you have different colors that you want, you can choose all the different colors that you have and the different lines that you want it printed in color. One line would be black, gray, or whatever it is. I'm just going to do mine in a gray fill. Um, so just make sure that before you hit send, that you're not just sending it to be cut because then your silhouette will just cut like the normal um, with the latchet rate with the with it'll just cut it and then you'll have a cut design you just want it to be drawn on there with the stipple feature so just make sure you have the correct thing marked when you go when you send it to your printer I'm not connected to my silhouette right now so it's not going to say I can print but uh, that's really all I have for you guys with the stipple um, it's kind of fun to play around with. It's fun to fill in your designs with these fun dots and these fun designs. Um, it makes for a fun little 
different design than the normal silhouette, the standard cutting design. Um, so that's all I have for you, and tune in next week to learn all about cut lines and everything we need to know about them. Thanks, guys.